Dale and welcome back everyone to uh, an update and a new episode of Midgard Musings here. Uh, my name is Jesse and I am the host here on this channel. I upload content pertaining to uh, Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, that sort of thing. Uh, also true is a term that is used in modern times to kind of uh, capture this religious belief or this spiritual path, um, but uh, it is a very uh, diverse path. There's a lot of branches on this tree uh, that some of us find ourselves venturing off into. Um, so uh, this is kind of just my channel for my heathenry. Um, I try to make it educational, try to make it informative, uh, try to help people who are thinking of pursuing this path uh, to kind of find a place to start um, and hopefully get some useful information. Um, but uh, by no means am I an end-all be-all authority um, on anything pertaining to heathenry. This is just kind of, you know, the way I heathen and the way I do it. I tend to lean heavily on the um, historical side of things. I don't quite consider myself a reconstructionist, at least not yet. Although over the years I've been gravitating more towards that side of things. But we are modern heathens. We are practicing old ways in modern times. And so I feel that there is a place for modern traditions and modern, uh, you know, variances and things of that nature to be incorporated into these ancient ways or these old ways, um, pagan practices. But regardless, um, if you guys want to check out more of my stuff, be sure to check all the playlists um, on my channel. There'll be a couple suggested videos throughout, maybe up in the annotated cards or at the very end of this video. Um, so you can kind of just peruse through my catalog and see uh, what it is that I do. If this is your first time, to all of my longtime followers, viewers, supporters, and friends, um, and subscribers, and all that, you guys have been great. Thank you so much for your ongoing and constant support. Um, it's been uh, it's been a very relaxing and uh, recharging couple of weeks. Last couple of weeks for me, as I haven't really done anything much in the in the way of content. I know the last video that I shared with you, I alluded to some uh, new things that I've experienced, and um, that's going to be coming up um, on the next podcast. You guys have that to look forward to. We're going to be talking with myself and my Gothi and my law speaker, um, which consists of our tribe, as it were, uh, for the time being, and uh, learn a little bit more about us um, and who we are and some of our experiences that we shared in recently. Uh, but this video is going to just be a kind of a recap um, or a sharing of information a bit um, of my most recent visit to North Carolina with my wife. We went there for a little over a week, um, almost a week and a half to visit uh, her family and some friends of ours. Um, we got to spend the night with uh, the esteemed J.M. Olufsen and his wife uh, in the mountains of North Carolina. And that's part of one of the special uh, things that I wanted to share um, on this video. Um, that was an amazing encounter and an amazing experience. Um, so before I go much further uh, to J.M. and his wife, uh, who, have, who are watching this hopefully, thank you so much again for your hospitality. We've uh, become very close friends, I feel, um, after meeting in person, and we look forward to more encounters and more meets um, of this nature, um, hopefully in the future, and maybe over here as we host uh, things in, in our area. You're welcome to come out for that. So, um, I guess two big highlights of things is, first of all, I would like to show all of you, maybe um, you have seen pictures that I've posted on my um, various social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, um, and Twitter, I believe. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys here, kind of in real time, one of the most amazing things that we now own. Um, this is a rune set that JM made um, for our tribe. Um, once he, when he posted the pictures of it, I was like, we've got to have this. Um, but it comes in a beautiful buckskin bag. Okay. Um, and the image that you see on this bag, it's a rough, you know, buckskin. Uh, but the image that you see here, this bind is, um, the bind rune that, uh, we made for our, for our tribe here in, in Tennessee. We are called Hleridi Folk which is uh, people of the thunderer, thunderous people, thundering storm people, people of the thundering storm, can be, you know, switched around a little bit, but Heridi is one of the names of Thor, 
in the lore, and we see that name shared around in a couple different uh, places, but Thiridi, folk, Thor's folk, Thor's people, people of the Thunderer. Um, we got a lot of storms here in this part of Tennessee, and uh, Thor is always near uh, to us. So the bind rune for our tribe is 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 uh, on this buckskin bag in these runes, and I'm about to show you a few of are made from the bones of an elk. And when I say that they are the most dense, the most heavy, the most powerful set of runes that I've held up to this point in my life, um, maybe the lighting will, yeah. Uh, but that, they are, as you can see, they are, they are rather thick and curved, uh, which really is neat. Um, they, 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 when, when they're cast and when they're thrown, they land a very unique way. They're great for casting, I'll, I'll put it that way. There's Logus. And um, like I said, these are, these are elk bones uh, from the elk's femur. There's Isa. And uh, like, I, like I was saying before, they are very dense, very thick, very heavy. You can feel the power. And there's Feu. But these are our new tribal runes. Um, they don't replace necessarily anything that we have already, um, but I wanted to, to, to start creating um, things for our tribe, or, or not creating, but I wanted to start having things for our tribe. Oh, um, before I forget, on the opposite side of uh, the buckskin bag is this beautiful, you know, Yggdrasil uh, imagery on here, and the beads and the leather and all that's really, really fantastic. But um, I wanted to have, as I was saying before, I wanted to have tribal relics, you know, things that in years to come, when maybe I'm not around or the rest of our founding members um, aren't around, that, uh, that, that the tribe would, would, would always have. And these are one of a few tribal relics. The other one that you saw at the beginning of this video is sitting here beside me. And this is the bison skin drum that was also crafted and made um, by J.M. Olison. Um, Fjallvatir Workshop is his business, by the way, and uh, his information for Fjallvatir will be uh, posted down in the description. So if you're interested in perusing his wares, um, check out his website. Uh, his wife also is a part of it. They are, it's a business that they run together, um, and they do a wonderful job of things. I'm getting some hair in my eyes. Excuse me. Um, but they, uh, they are wonderful people, wonderful hosts. Um, had a really great time, and you're going to see a little bit here in just a few minutes uh, some time um, that was shared around the fire with myself, my wife, J.M., and his wife. We did uh, a short ritual bloat of sorts. Um, the libations that we were drinking that night were poured out um, as gifts to the Vaitir, to the gods, and, and, and to the spirits around us. Um, and then we did a drumming slash dance uh, session um, where I was... Uh, given the opportunity to 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 play an enormous, I think it's 36 inch round drum. Um, don't remember the skin that is used on this. I don't know if it's horse or what, but obviously or deer or what it is. But it's it's massive, and you will see that here in just a moment. Um, but I played the drum, and, and JM uh, was 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 adorned in his ritual garb, and and was was kind of doing this dance around the fire. It was really really special. My wife captured some of that, those moments. It's not a lot of time, maybe just a couple of minutes all in all, but they are um, videos that I wanted to share with you guys here. So um, let's go ahead and uh, you know just take a look at what it was like to drum and dance and drink and enjoy and fellowship and, and all that fun stuff uh, around the campfire at Uthurhus with J.M. Olufsen and his wife. Here you go.
All right. Well, like I said, not a lot of uh, not a lot of footage, um, but enough. And I think I um, the, the the footage I think that was captured really cap like really helped uh, you know just capture the the feel of that night, the feel of that moment um, prior to that event, prior to that drumming uh, session. Um, you know. Uh, JM's wife made a delicious goat neck meat curry. Uh, it was a red curry dish over rice, um, along with some very delicious uh, ground meat pies. I think it was just minced beef. Um, but we, we, we sat around and had a, a honey um, spirit. It was like a, not a, it was, it was, it was a liquor. It was, it was alcohol, but it was a, spirits that were that were infused or flavored with honey so it was a very it was a very sweet very strong drink i also had brought um, a bottle of uh, a spayburn 10-year single malt scotch um, i understand that that's not like the most top of the line uh, single malt and it's a spay side um, but it was it was a scotch that i thought would be a nice one to kind of because because jm had never really dabbled into uh scotches at all. So I, I hope that that was a good choice for, you know, exploring scotch whiskeys a bit. But we had that. We also had some amazing crisp apple mead um, that Daniel over at Moonjoy Meadery, I believe, is responsible for. Really phenomenal work. Um, Moonjoy Meadery is a, is a meadery also in North Carolina. I believe the city that they're in is Lenore, if I'm mistaken. Uh, check the description out because their information will be down there as well. So if you're in the North Carolina vicinity and you want to go out there and check out what they're about, um, their information is down below as well. Um, uh, but between all that and the tobacco pipes and stuff that we were smoking, and uh, we, we, it was a beautiful 40 some odd degree temperature night. And out there in the, in the mountains where, where JM lives, um, we, we got to enjoy a nice little campfire on his back patio around the uh, uh, hot tub. You know, so it was like in the 40, temp, 40 degree temps and uh, had a nice hundred some odd degree hot tub to to share some drinks and uh, just relax in. And then after that, you know, the, the night air was so crisp and invigorating. Uh, we, we, we retired out into the, the wood line uh, under some trees and, and had a great fire. Uh, the drumming session that you just witnessed, that's, that's where and when uh, that all took place. Um, but one thing that I did want to call attention to is the, the, the drum that sits here beside me that's one of our tribal relics now. And the drum that you saw me play uh, at the beginning of this video. Um, again, this is, this is one of the first things that I purchased from JM. Uh, might have been the very first thing I purchased from him. I have some other items that he gifted um, to me. Um, candle holder, incense holder, that uh, incense burner, that sort of thing. Um, but this... This drum right here was was something that the tribe purchased. So each member of the tribe uh, contributed financially or monetarily to to purchase this item. Um, and I brought this with me to JM's house because I wanted him to see the condition that it's in. I wanted him to see from when he made it to 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 after it's being been used. Um, and, and played. Um, there was also some fraying on the handle um, with the original um, sinew pieces that he had put on the handle which he repaired. Did a wonderful job um, repairing that while it was there because he's like you can't leave without letting me fix that. And a nice horsetail ta uh, tassel. Um, and this is a maple branch by the way. This is a maple beater deer skin. Um, but uh, I asked him, I said, um, have you ever seen your work in person, you know, um, after you've made it, after you've presented it to the person and, and, and so has it ever come back to you in this sort of, in, the, in this way? And I want to say that he, he, he indicated that he has seen work, of course, online, people post their, their, their pictures of, of work that he's done and he may have gone to someone's house nearby that has one of his items but he said no this is this was the first time that that a piece that i made ever made it back to me kind of back to the source back to the original place that it was made you know 
And I thought that that, and, and, and I think that was a very special moment and we shared in that special moment because he's like, this is amazing. You know, the, the camera light and whatnot don't necessarily do it justice, but there's, there's unique coloration um, differences that, that, that have only um, enhanced the beauty of this piece over time that weren't necessarily there to begin with. Um, but, but, but essentially, you know, from the day that it was made from the beginning, um, and I don't know if you can guys can see, but on, on the, on the underside of the drum and I'll try to hold it up to where that's, but on the underside of this drum, there are runes painted around the inside frame and they are younger food arc runes and it spells the folk. It's the name of our tribe. Um, the, the, the items up here that you see um, on this side, I say up here because when I hold it, this to me is like the tops, uh, the top of the drum. When my Gothi holds it, he holds it here and that's his. But it really just kind of depends on how the drum feels in your hand, how you want to hold it. But I hold it, um, of course, this way. And, and these represent the three founding members, the three huts or the three um, tents, you know, with trees. But these are like the three huts, the three homes, the three clans that originated our, our tribe. So myself and, and our law speaker and our Gothi, uh, each other's huts or each other's homes are represented there. And then, you know, on the opposite end or on the opposite mirrored side is, is, a, is a boat that represents the journey, the carrying um, of, uh, of, of this tribe into, into, next, into the next stage of things, into the new stage of things. Of course, there's a lot of runic um, things, you know, Othala, Ewas, you see algaes all over. Um, you know, and Tiwas and, and, and so many different things. These are, these are important runes uh, that have made themselves manifest to us and our tribe's work in ritual and in um, various things. But I wanted to share that part with all of you and let you know that it's, uh, this is, I, to, to my knowledge and to Josh, you know, JM knowledge, JM's knowledge, I'll get it out, uh, the first time that a, that a piece that he made like a drum like this that he made that made it back to his uh, to the to its place of origin, you know. So that was a um, very special moment that we all shared that night. Um, just you know, drumming and and you know enjoying each other's company. So um, the next video that comes out, the next podcast that comes out this coming week, will be. Um, with my Gothi and Law Speaker, who together, the three of us, um, make up our tribe. It's very, when I say young, I mean very young in, in terms of when we, when we uh, first established the name and, and stuff for our tribe, it was right prior to the, when the world went into this pandemic, you know. And so a lot of progress um, was halted or slowed down for its growth due to the consideration of the safety of, of, of our tribe and the safety of our nearest and dearest and, and so on and so forth. So um, but as we look to uh, build this tribe more and establish more things for um, people around us to get to know us a bit um, and, and gain new members and build the tribe uh, organically and grow the tribe, I should say organically, building makes it sound very manual you know like we have to do it within a certain frame of time and that's not it it i want to I, I guess building is the wrong word but to grow the tribe we want to grow organically and we want to grow in a healthy um you know sort of way so that next podcast that comes out next thursday will be a discussion between the three of us so i hope uh, that you all tune in for that premiere uh follow it on any of the platforms that you so choose the podcast streaming platforms are you know, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, um, <clears throat> iHeartRadio, and, and a number of others. So, um, but that's going to pretty much conclude today's video. Again, it was just really a, a short one to share with you the drumming experience that um, I had, of course, being there in person and doing it all in person. And, you know, you can't replicate that through a video, but it, it, it captured some moments that, um, I wanted to open up to the to everyone for you all to see and hopefully you got a little bit of a touch of the feelings that were were felt that night so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to share and comment down below with your thoughts um, and check the description area uh, for the link tree link on all the ways that you can support 
Medgard Musings. Um, we would love to, to continue uh, doing what we do. And I say we, I mean me. <laughs> but uh, who knows who else and, and what else we can continue because I'm constantly getting, you know, um, <clears throat> making friends and, and bringing guests on our podcast and stuff like that. So it's, it's definitely, I feel, a community effort, a collective effort. Um, and having each of you here watching, viewing, listening, um, commenting, engaging in this sort of way, you know, this is what helps uh, the, the channel grow and it's what helps the community grow because, um, you know, the more people that are new to heathenry, the more people that are coming into heathenry that have questions, um, I, uh, although I am not an, an end-all be-all authority, I do um, know a little bit about a few things and I feel that this is a great way to um, share knowledge and gain knowledge as well because I have a lot to learn and we all do um, and so we can therefore learn from each other. Um, but yes, once again, thank you so much for uh, t watching today's video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe and to show of your support. Um, and until we talk again in the next video, hail, thank you all. May your hearth fires always continue to burn bright. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.